WTFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good morning, folks. Uh, Steve Rhodes filling in for Tom for the 9 o'clock update. Uh, currently, we have Dow Equity Futures trading down about uh, 60 points. The ES Mini is off 10. NASDAQ is down 44. NASDAQ is the uh, percentage-wise leader to the downside. It's off uh, 57, uh, about 45 points. It's changing rather quickly here. Russell, 2,000 down uh, 6 points. You've got gold up uh, $5, trading at 12.9070. Key level to be watching in gold today. Gold, in order to break out, give you some type of confirming signal. Signal, must close above 1296. Watch that. That is resistance. 1295, 1296 is a resistance area for a Goldilocks. But with regard to the NQ, I'd mentioned the NQ. And uh, here is a chart that we're looking at of the NQ. And what it's showing you, it's showing you it's a daily and it's weekly TAS market profiles out there. And those TAS market profiles assist both you and I with identifying the levels of support that or resistance that we ordinarily would not have been able to have seen out here. And they work really well. What I want you to understand is right now that price is trading right at the bottom of that box. That bottom of the box is support. So the level to be watching there is 76.26. If that level holds, then we could see a further counter trend rally. 76.82 is the number. If it fails, then where price is headed to is the bottom or center of its weekly profile. So the downside target, which is where price found support yesterday in the 75.77 area, I'm referring to the NQ. 75.17 happens to be support inside the NQ. The NQ is probably going to be the tell today. If we take a look at a 30-minute time frame chart here for the NQ, it does show yesterday uh, the NQ making wave number seven. For those of you that are Chapman wave aficionados, that's letter G. The market's singing the key of G out here. So that's a bottom pattern. But right now, we don't have a signal to say whether that is going to hold or not. However, what I will share with you is we saw a little bit of a uh, thrust both to the upside and to the downside during the 8.30 to 9 o'clock session. And what that did was that created a TD setup 8 bar and potentially we will see a 9 count complete. And a TD setup 9 count doesn't matter whether it's on a 30 minute or a daily or a weekly, they can identify bottoms out there. So bottoms up potentially Watch that level inside the NQ today. Have a great day, and uh, stay tuned for Larry Pesavento.